Hey guys, it's episode 127. I just finished a project for my art class and I just wanted to show you guys briefly what it is before I pack it away. I literally have my plastic bag ready. Um, I'm filming in my room, but I literally have this plastic bag ready because the eyes are so small. I feel like I'm going to lose them instantly if I don't put them away. And uh, I have, uh, I think... Next Thursday is when my teacher is going to ask me what I have so far for my project. So I want to be like almost done. So I am in that process. So it's some um, deconstruction of, of a sculpture moving from 2D to 3D intro to semiotics. So semiotics basically this project includes like so you use different materials to so you pick a character that's related to pop culture, significant, like, it doesn't have to be, like, it can be a character that speaks to you, I think, because that's what I'm doing, but it's, like, a popular character, of course. Um, it doesn't have to be anime, and I think it's better to do Western cartoons, especially if they're speaking because it talks about western pop culture more uh, but the reason why I chose an anime character is because Ed is actually a lot of his stuff isn't really focused on Japanese culture I feel like there's a lot of western stuff to it because you can see um, the military and the way it acts is more Americanized and that's why I find it's okay, but if you move to other animes, just be aware that the culture might not be significant to Western culture, but some things hint towards symbolize, like, Japanese culture. So you take materials and make every single part separately. Um, the teacher just said to make the face, so that's what I did. Um, but we can't use clay because clay is too easy. But he also said when we deconstruct the character, we can't put it back to the original face. So I only have it like this for temporary. I took a picture of it so that way in my sketchbook I can reference to what it looks like when it's all put together. But I think it has to be separated when it's done. And then I have to explain in like a little paragraph. Um, where was it? In an analysis of your character and their cultural pur purpose and importance. So that's what it is. So, yeah. Um, so originally I was going to do Kirito. Um, but I found that his sig his uh, story didn't really speak to me as much. Um, not that the story wasn't detailed enough. It's just that most... Animes I have to do with VR and virtual reality kind of have, like, the significance is there, but it's mostly the same, I would think, because that's just how I feel. Like, you guys may be like, oh, like, no game, no life is really f interesting and stuff. I know that's a popular one, too. Um, yeah. I guess that's the reason why I kind of don't watch VR ones. Something kind of, those video game animes kind of, I don't know, something about it doesn't really attract my attention, except for Sword Art Online, because that's the first one that I watch, but that's just my opinion. So I just wrote down like the different parts, the hair, the face, the jacket, the shirt, the armor strap, pants, hands, back of coat, and the boots, and then I also did, like, a small printout of both Kirito and Edward, um, there's, like, the different parts, and the different parts, like, those were the main parts that I wrote down, and then I did the same thing with Edward, except the teacher said, don't, like, go and make the entire body because you can do it for a bigger project but if you do it for this project I think that's too much that's a lot of work okay so moving on to 
Edward, um, and deconstructed all of his face, including the pupils and the whites of his eyes, like the light in his eyes. The reflection is separated as well, so kind of scaring me because I don't want to like, lose it. Um, but I will deconstruct it for you. So this is his hair. I just cut a piece of triangle out of a origami paper, and then it, and then I cut it into the shape. Uh, now I know this is really big, but I wanted it to be like in proportion, right? And this is his. So his hair is actually. This part is folded over. I put it physically down there and then I folded it over so that way it got the right shape and then I folded this part over so that way it would be like more flat in the sense so it looks like the curve like that instead of having a random point and this one I did the same thing but just the opposite way here is the mouth, it's just a random cutout. And here's the nose, it's another random cutout, but I didn't do it like a thin nose, I tried to do a thicker one. Um, just because sometimes in the anime they do draw him with a thicker nose and no like the nostril detailing, like the nostril detailing. Um, but I think it's better if I don't have that nostril detailing, because if I lose it, it's gone. And I'm like, gonna start freaking out about this. And here are his eyebrows. Uh, I just cut little slits of the leftovers from this. So there's, there's a bunch of leftovers. Um, I also did this. I folded a paper, like... You know how you fold it in half, but I folded like a section of it in half, so that way I didn't use all of it. But yeah, and then I just cut like, so that way it was equal in size. I know I'm deconstructing him for you right now, guys. So bad. I wish I could just tape it on and keep it the way it is, but the teacher doesn't want that, so yeah. And here, so you can see the white. The reflection is separate. Oh my gosh, it's sticking to my finger. Okay, I'm gonna freak out if I lose it though. I don't want to. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it there. But yeah, the pupil is separate and so is that. And now I'm gonna just slightly, okay, they're on there. Nothing's gonna happen. Here's the face. So I just took a square and I folded this part inwards so that way it made the chin and these two parts inwards so it made the facial like the cheek area and I folded this downwards like it looks like half of an envelope so that way his head is flat and it's not like there's a point there so yeah so that's it for this whole project and I completely destroyed him and I'm probably I don't really want like this but I will put it in the plastic bag afterwards so everything is safe like those pupils and the whites of the eyes I'm really scared because I easily lose things and plus this type of paper gets stuck sometimes. Sometimes it sticks in my fingers. So if it gets stuck to something else and then I don't realize and I lose it at school, it's like end of world for me right now. Um, so yeah. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share that. Um, there's a bunch of my stuff I wish to share from my sketchbook, but currently I'm still trying to figure out like when should I do that? I might try to do that maybe once every 10th video starting from now. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to keep track of. But I really do want to keep on top of my personal drawings as well. Not just 
this. But when I go to college next year, I will probably show you guys a lot more of that art because I'll probably be having to focus on that more than my personal stuff. So yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's really interesting to do this project actually. It gives you like a whole new perspective of the detail and everything. So yeah, it's fun to try out. If you guys want to try it out, you can. Like you don't have to do write-ups or anything because of course you're not doing that. But it's just a new way of seeing different characters. So that's it for this video. Bye!